just thought I'd do a quick uh, post-fight anal- analysis. Um, not a detail, just a brief analysis of the David Hay versus Tony Bellew fight that occurred last night. Um, going into this fight, I, if you read the or listen to the other posts that I did, um, I did say that Tony Bellew made some interesting facts about David Hay in the run-up to the fight, in that the only competitive fight he was involved in was Derek Chisora, um, and that was five years ago. And um, he hasn't been involved in a competitive fight since then. And, you know, we look past at the achievements and accomplishments of David Hay and we suspect that, you know, he's a miracle man. He can come in and he can just pick up where he left off. But the fact is, there is such thing as ring ring rust and there is such thing as age. And um, when you step into the ring after five years, um, you know, anything can happen. I did say before, what happens if it goes into the later rounds? What happens if he does get clipped or you know, or hit? Is he going to be able to withstand that? Because 36 is not old these days in boxing terms, but it is at the same time. Um, but I'm going to be honest, I thought that David Hay you know, was going to beat Tony Bellew. And I mean, if we're going to you know, discuss the fight before the injury took place, I thought that David Hay you know, w- was winning the fight. I think he lost the first round. And I think until the injury took place, he was winning the fight. And even when he was injured, Tony Bellew was still getting hit with, caught with some 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 good shots, you know. But um, when he started to fight, his timing looked very poor. His speed looked very poor. He He's not the explosive David Hay that we're all used to and we were all expecting. Um, and I think the timing, um, you know, the layoff, the long layoff, um, you know, p- plays a big factor in things such as timing um, and speed. He just put on too much weight and he just looked really uncomfortable in there. Having said that, I thought that he was winning the fight up until the injury. So, I mean, if I was Tony Bellew, um, I wouldn't, you know, look, fair play, he won the fight. There's no, there's no, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, he, he, he won the fight. He, he fought quite well in the early rounds. Um, but had that injury not had happened... I don't think Tony Bellew would have won the fight. And he can't be sitting back and thinking to himself, you know, I, I, I won the fight. It would be different if he has, hadn't been injured and um, Tony Bellew was out was out boxing him or knocked him out. But that injury is, is a big factor. And um, I think David Hay must have slipped. And I think that's what happened when he slipped. He um, he must have buckled his, his Achilles uh, um, ankle or whatever it is. And um, I think that's what um, that's what caused the damage. But fair play to David Hay for not wanting to continue, not wanting to stop the fight, and wanting to continue the fight um, until Shane McGuigan actually uh, eventually threw in the towel. But I mean, even if you think about the stoppage itself, um, Tony Bellew didn't catch him with any menacing blows. They were just glancing blows. They weren't doing that much damage. Hay lost his balance, fell through the ropes when he come when he got up. Um, you know, uh, Shane McGuigan threw in the towel. But if the fight had gone to the end, I mean, if you look at the um, the unofficial scorecards, I think Tony Bellew, I'm going into like the tenth or the eleventh round, was only like a couple of points ahead. So, you know, he sh- he should have been way ahead, um, given the fact that a had um, Hay had injured his ankle uh, early on. So, um, you know, uh, what happens next? I'd I'd love to see to see a rematch. I'd like to see. Hey, fully fit and um, and ready to go. But he 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 does. When you get older, you you do have a tendency to pick up injuries a lot easier than when you're in your prime. Um, and I've heard through the grapevine that um, you know he went straight into surgery after the um, the, the the fight, and um, it's going to take in excess of of nine months before he's able to step back into the ring uh, before it heals. So you're looking at like a thirty-seven year old pushing 38 year old david hay and i think and i think that you know it, it it's just a horrible way to um to to, to come out of the game and I, and I think um we won't be seeing david hay anymore depending on um you know how quickly he 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 he, he heals and recovers from this injury but going back to what i said just to kind of reiterate i think that belly won the first round and hay was winning the fight landing some clean shots um, up until the injury, and um, even after the injury, Bellew didn't finish him, and Hay was still landing his shot. So uh, I might sound like you know a, a Hay fanboy. I'm not. I'm just stating what I believe to be the facts. But you know, f- Tony Bellew showed tremendous heart. He took 
the shots that David Hay gave him and um, he continued to come forward. So he's got a, a heart of a lion and he's got a great chin and he's a great champion and I give him um, maximum respect, uh, maximum respect for that. But I think it was a very, um, a very sad, sad way to see um, David Hay, um, you know, leave the ring after um, a very, uh, a very good fight. Um and a very good career, but and and to kind of leave it, see him on the floor, he just looked like a completely, he looked like a beaten man. You know, he. I think there was one one point where he just sat on the floor. I think he was going to be counted out. I think it was the early knockdown, and he looked like he knew that it was over. He just knew, but he got up and he fought to the end. And you know, when he fought Vladimir Klitschko, um, and he blamed it on his toe he got a, a nasty backlash toe gate from the fans because he underperformed and he blamed it on his toe. Whereas this time he didn't blame the injury. He just said, I lost to the better man. Tony Bell, you deserved it. And that's it. He didn't mention the, 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 um, the injury for fear that he may get uh, another kind of backlash from the crowd. And this time in a way he's gained the respect of, 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 of the British public. So I think that, um, it was a very entertaining fight, and I'd, I'd like to, to to see him to see him come back. Um, let me know your your comments in the um, section below, and uh, please subscribe. It was also interesting to see, like you know, the Derek Chisora's. I think, you know, in the run up to to the um, to the fight, David Hay uh, said some horrible things. You know, he's gonna he's gonna you know beat him for, legally for thirty six minutes. He's able to like beat the living daylights out of him. Um, he's gonna be unconscious. He can't. He's not gonna be able to hear. Don't bring your your kids to the fight. And when it comes to things like that, I don't I agree with it. I know it's just a fight game, but I don't necessarily agree with it because um, you know just keep it respectful. That's borderline. Um, you know, going over the top. I think, but. You know, is this his comeuppance? I know those who are Bellew fans are, are probably really happy about the fact that, you know, after all the trash talk, he wasn't able to perform. But I'm not really judging the fight based on the trash talk. I'm judging the fight based on the fight. And, and off that on that basis, Tony Bellew just couldn't finish him. And, and, you know, he looked exhausted and the cleaner shots were being landed by Hay. I mean, what, you know, there weren't that many telling shots pre pre-injury that Tony Bellew was landing. You know, he boxed quite well. He was quicker. But you know, it was only until the injury occurred that that haste, um, that Bellew started landing the um, uh, telling shots and, and and significant shots. So it, I, I don't see how Bellew can be happy with that performance. Um, but you know, hopefully, uh, you know, a rematch does does occur. He uh, Bellew is talking about fighting Deontay Wilder and and all the rest of it. Maybe fighting David Hay at heavyweight was was just, you know testing the waters to see whether or not he can make a campaign at that level. Um but in terms of cruiserweight and money fights, I don't see Bellew having any big 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 money fights, um pay-per-view fights in my opinion. Uh, so I think um if 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 he can't get the um heavyweight fights, then um you know and and Hay is able to make that comeback and recovery then um, I'd like to see the rematch at Goodison Park. But I think Hay will not return. I think it's too late. Um, I think the injury is going to take too long to heal. And I think even in the training camps, I think, you know, he um, he he's likely to pick up more injuries. Um, but, you know, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm a David Hay fan. You know, I know that he does a lot of trash talk outside of the ring. It was disappointing to see him go out in that fashion. But I just feel it was a bit of an injustice because the better fighter didn't win. You know, I think Hay is a better fighter, but um, may have come in too heavy and um, may have took this fight too.